Good morning, how's it going? It's Wednesday morning, and it's a little bit after 7, and I thought I'd come out here and give you some listening practice. It's brisk today. We can say it's cool, we can say it's brisk, and for me, brisk is a little bit cooler. Cool e fresco. It's, let me see, 54 Fahrenheit is the same as 12 Celsius. So, yeah, it's a little bit chilly. Chilly, cool, brisk, however you want to say it. It's, But it's refreshing. It feels good. So, I thought I'd come out and, and talk for a little bit. So, something that I think might be interesting for you is to know how we say conseguir in English. I've heard a lot of people say... I don't can, and whenever they say I don't can, that's really not the correct way to translate. It doesn't make sense in English. So, you could say I can't, but conseguir has more of a feeling of I'm not able. No conseguir, I am not able. A B L E. So, for example, I could say, I would like to go to the park today, but I'm not able. Um, I would like to go jogging, but I'm not able. I literally cannot do it. I physically cannot do it. I'm not able. So it makes sense. It makes a lot more sense than don't can. That is not correct grammatically, and it'll cause people confusion if you say it. So be, be aware of that. Okay, today is Wednesday, and so we're doing heteronyms. And heteronyms, as you've been learning, are words that are spelled exactly the same and pronounced differently and have different meanings. So, very confusing. Today the words are bass and bass. B-A-S-S. -S. Bass is a fish. Okay, I think that you have you have something called a sea bass that is obalo. Obalo? Yes. So our bass is not from the sea, it's in a river, so it's a fresh water fish, but it is a bass. And I could say, mm, I used to go fishing a lot with my dad, and sometimes we would catch a bass. Or I could say, Bass currently are not really good to eat because of all the pollution we have. So those are a couple possibilities. The other pronunciation for B-A-S-S -S is bass. We have different settings, different sounds that you can hear. You can hear tenor. Tenor is a note, a sound that is higher, that a person with a higher voice would sing. Bass is way down here. They're going to sing lower notes. So an example I could give you regarding the voice, I had a friend who sang beautiful bass notes, very deep and very low. Or bass can also be a stringed instrument. You've probably seen people, they stand up and they have an instrument, boom, 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 and they pluck on the strings and make this sound. That's a bass viol. So my uncle, Uncle Don, used to play bass in a jazz band. So those are some examples. If you want to be evaluated on the pronunciation of those two sounds, super easy, but if you want to be evaluated, Come to Amiga American Inicianch, record your voice, and I will evaluate you. All right, so we talked about bass and bass, and we talked about be able. So hopefully those are things you can work into your conversation. I hope you're going to have a great day. Make it a good one, or it's your own fault. Talk to you later.